Welcome to Deep River Farm. Man, I just wish these tomatoes would have been something that was uh, something besides tiny. We really had them this year. That goes to show if you've got a good soil. Feed the soil, not the plant. Even though we went through an eight and a half week drought, no rain, and what little water we did put on it was uh, from captured rainwater, which that went out pretty quick since it didn't rain, and uh, what little bit of well water we were using, and then we got scared to, to do anything. Just look at the abundance of tomatoes here. Look at the abundance of okra, huge okra. Stuff six feet tall now. The be green beans, now they they done extremely well and I believe that was because when their prime came in we had water they started coming in prior to the drought and uh, and they produced well we've got 25 gallons so far I could get another 10 gallons off of this uh, especially on the other side however I'm going to let that go to seed and I'm not going to I'm not gonna pull that other side. But on this side, we've got beans, we've got blooms. We may do another picking here. But this afternoon when we get in, we're gonna go ahead and pull up our squash. We're gonna pull up our uh, straggler okra that's come up, make room for the beets. Uh, the almanac has not said it was time to plant the beets yet. And uh, that's not gonna be until September because the signs aren't right. I encourage you to go back and look at the King of High Tides video explaining the high tide and what's called the King Tide. I want you to look at that full moon back there in the background. Can you see that? That thing is absolutely beautiful. The King Tide occurs when the earth and the moon or the earth and the sun come close together. And these are predictable times that uh, they can do this. But if you'll see that video, the thumbnail has a picture of a giant wave on it, somebody surfing on it. So I encourage you to check that out. Also, uh, we have did a video called Fake Meats. There's a company building the world's largest fake meat, what they're calling uh, cultivated meats in North Carolina, the plants being built in North Carolina. I encourage you to look at that video of what their plans are, they're going to start trying to shove down our throat. So uh, I encourage you to look at that. I appreciate you joining us this morning on Deep River Farm. This is a full moon morning. Y'all have a blessed day.